Hello and welcome to RJU TV. I'm your host, Esther, and today we are here with Iris Walker-Reed, um, who just graduated from Gray School of Art, and she's going to tell us more about her work. Um, hello, I'm Iris Walker-Reed. Um, I'm a contemporary art student at Gray School of Art, just graduated. Um, I do works about isolation um, objects and spaces. Uh, but mainly focus on the relationships between objects and places between humans as well so the interaction between that um is there anything else you want me to go into more um what did you do before uni before grace before grace i went to our um, northeast college mm -hmm. and i was doing like lots of paintings there and i was more focused wanted to focus on like sculpture and just I wanted to more experiment with other forms of art other than just painting. Mm -hmm. And I was excited when I got into contemporary art. Um, I actually got into two, two universities and one of them was interior design, which is something I was really interested in and it still kind of reflects into my work. Um, the, I love having like a spatial awareness in my work because I feel like the space is just as important the place that you're showing, not just like, your piece like you're showing the whole thing um nice. which i hopefully think reflects in my digital degree show as well yeah speaking about waste um i went on your website and i can see it behind you the waste of face um signage what was the yeah. idea behind um behind this um it was basically like it came from the sign general waste and then i kind of felt like I mean, this stuff came way before I even started like playing with like skip ideas. Um, I was talking more about like interior and exterior like waste and like um, how like it is literally a waste of space. Um, then I started to talk about like a waste of time. Um, a waste of time like references the fact that this is like a piece of time that's now uh, now a uh, part of waste. So that's what those are referencing to. Nice. And what in inspires your work uh, now? Um, a lot of things. Anything that's surrounding like interior, uh, interior waste. Right now, I'm kind of in the the skipping zone. So I'm just like skipping between um, skipping between ideas of just working with the skip idea because I have like a. I have like a background of like sticking to a form like for example in third year I did a lot of like ceramic sofas mm. and uh, I played with that idea for like the whole year so I think I might continue on with the skip idea for another year because I've actually gotten a plenty of other ideas to work with it too. Nice, very good. So um, all your four years at Grace, you prepared something for the last year, right, to graduate, and then all of a sudden, um, a virus <laughs> happened, yeah. and everything was like cancelled. So, how did you react to that? And what was the, what were the challenges for you as an artist to continue and actually be able to graduate? It was a huge blow losing like the school, mainly because um, I was a workshop-based artist. Like I was in the midst of making. Um, I was in the midst of trying to finish off a ceramic wooden chair. Um, just it was a wooden chair that was in my background. Like it, this is like a photocopy of that chair, mm -hmm. and I was in the midst of like finishing that off because I got all the ceramic pieces into a ceramic like cast. And what I was going to do was like put it together and like glaze it and uh, and just like work on that piece. And then so when that hut. I had nothing almost to work on. I mean, mm. I did have like the skip planned in the middle of like October, but I wasn't going to do anything until after the dissipation. Um, and the skip was never meant to be like the main thing. Mm -hmm. But when I had, when I was like gathering all my stuff back into here and trying to like make this feel like an actual like art space to create in, um, I was like, thinking like what am I gonna do like I'm missing like a huge chunk of my piece and like um, my whole piece is, is about like um, materialistic and um, physical and um, the feeling of like space and living like it's mm -hmm. not 
digital, like this can't be a digital like theme. Um, so the way I adapted was like, how can I make this place a studio? And um, I had, a, had, I live with my parents, so I had to like communicate with them. And, and because I don't, I don't, because I had to like basically go under their rules. Like I'm not allowed to, you know, like set the garden on fire <laughs> or uh, like make a kiln and like the got like, uh, like I wasn't allowed to do any of that. So I had to kind of like a ditch a huge chunk of my work and a huge chunk of my like stuff this year. And then I made this like wooden skip out of like, um, I already bought the materials to make it because I was planning to make it anyway. Um, but um, we didn't have that much like tools to make it. All we had was like a circular saw and um, a hand saw and um, a drill. And that's all we had. So like wow. to make something that was like so huge and like so like, I'm actually really proud of what I did, but like it, <laughs> it's just, surreal that I managed to do in such a small space as well because it was in a garage and it was every time that we were like making stuff in the skip it, we had to like take out like the blow mower and like all this stuff out of the garage and then like make a space to make the thing and then we had to like disassemble it every night before like we go to bed so and then we had to like put all the stuff in it was like a whole like it was tiring <laughs> yeah I saw that I actually saw all the pictures of like the black, um, I don't know how you look at, call it, sorry, but I, I always wonder, how did you manage to take it everywhere with you and take photos out of it? But now I know, just dismantled everything. So that's good. Yeah, it's a, it's a flat pack skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy. Um, so you said you experimented with clay and then the um, skip. Is there any other um, experiment that you would like to do with art in the future? Um, I hopefully will continue on with like ceramics and I always I always worked with wood anyway like it, this wasn't my first ever like wooden work mm -hmm. um, so I think I might just still continue focusing on working like wood and ceramics and working together because I just really love the interior especially wood wood just has like a beautiful like green and like life to it already so like the fact is that you can bring that work to life is quite interesting um, I was really interested by the stuff that I did with like paper. Like I was surprised that I made like a um, in third year I made like a model of like a model that I was going to make of a space, and um, I used it this year to take photographs of like little like um, little like object like skips like these. So yeah. Um, did so you make I this one more, more paper? Sorry. Did you make this one, the one that you showed? Yeah, um, I've oh. made all of them. Wow. I made all of them. I've got like three. Nice. I've got like a white one, black one, and a yellow and black one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. Nice. I, I think I might focus actually in printmaking in the future, future, just because like I've always been interested in doing printmaking as well. So like that's something that I want to concentrate in the future. Nice. Is there someone you admire very much and you would love to collaborate with? Um, um, I mean, there's totally unrealistic, like, artists that you can say, like, for example, like, Rachel Whiteweed and her casts, like, she is, like, a phenomenal artist, or, um, you know, like, my dream dream, and this is, this will never happen, because he's, um, he's passed away, unfortunately, oh. um, is, Mas like, um, Gordon Matter Clark, his works were amazing, he, like, sliced, like, buildings in half, and, like, his works were just so like it, it really brought to life spaces in so many other ways and really made you want to like live through as an artist but, um uh i'm probably like mispronouncing his name i think his name was like do do Shu, do ho shu and he i visited his like exhibition over like last summer and in that space like the photographs do not like do not give his work light his work was all about like, his work was wires and fabric and he built a giant like hallway that looked realistic, but I don't know how to describe it. I've got like a postcard actually of his work just here. Like that's all of fabric and wow. like wires. Wow. And he made like hallways and like he, ha he even put small details of like sewing um, um, the fire exit and all that stuff. Like that stuff is so, 
just any artist that worked with space or worked with any like thing in general like I feel like an artist collab can go in any other ways so to be honest <laughs> um I've there's so many artists in the world that I wouldn't work with but that will never happen <laughs> nice good so and now that you've graduated uh, what's the plan for you are you um, I originally did not have a plan. Um, I was just kind of like, oh, I'll, I'll do this, I'll do that. Cause I was just planning to like volunteer in Aberdeen's like look again space. I've been volunteering with them this whole year. Um, so I was just going to continue doing that and trying to like get like a practice going in Aberdeen. Um, but then um, I got into uh, the master's program, which I just did not expect to get whatsoever. Nice. So, um, yeah, so I'm doing that next year, so, which is going to be exciting, and hopefully I'll actually get to make something physical rather than just make something virtual. Nice. Is it uh, contemporary art again, or are you going to do something it's else? It's fine art. Okay. Yeah, Could which you... is fine art and contemporary art. They're all, all the kind of similar things, like they're, they're all put together. Contemporary art, it's something that you do with um, things that we use every day. Yeah, it's more um, it's more everyday use objects, or it's not always that. Sometimes there's artists that just do like, you know, contemporary art isn't just like using physical objects. Contemporary art is using like, you could do painting. Like there's contemporary painters out there that do stunning works. Like half of the painters, they're, they they always describe themselves as contemporary artists as well. So mm -hmm. it's not just. Um, I think I find it's really weird of us our two, our two like um, things are split because we there's painters in painting that do sculpture there's people in contemporary art that do painting so we're all like in the same thing so I'm kind of glad that I'm doing a master's program where I actually get to like work with like p painters because our divisions are so split but the reality is we're just like each other we think in contemporary ways. We think in this artistic, like conceptual way that we shouldn't be split like that. Nice, very good. Um, okay, so how was your time uh, at Grace this past few years? Would you recommend people to go there? Grace is probably the best experience um, that I can get from art school ever because the the staff, the technician staff, are just more, like so amazing, like. Um, I worked with the ceramic department, the um, photography department, and the um, printmaking department for a little bit. And then I also worked with like the uh, West Workshop, which is like woodwork or like the laser cutter as well. Like that workshop too. Like there is so much stuff that you can do. And um, the great thing about the school is that they're more they're open for you to do like the most weirdest of things. There's like students that do stuff that you probably think like, what? The school allowed you to bring that in? <laughs> like, <laughs> so like, and even the lecturers, the lecturers are really open for like different opinions and different like concepts. And um, they're very um, like, not, I don't wanna say loving, but they're very much like <sighs> nourishing. They nourish you. Um, for the right amount so you can actually thrive in uh, Aberdeen's like culture sector so nice very good um, and how did the lecturers uh, react to the lockdown did you feel like they really helped you and send many emails or did they just disappeared I think they did react um, first of all they had to focus on like the 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 other years because our hand in was like a lot more further away. Mm -hmm. so they had to focus on like trying to adapt theirs really quickly. And I, I feel bad for the years underneath because they had to adapt so faster than we did. Like at least we had time to kind of like think, okay, how else are we gonna like, how are we gonna do this? And when they finally figure out what to do, we were all kind of like, well, is that how to do it? I don't, I don't know if like that's a, enough amount of like pages for them. Then when we were actually doing like like the sketchbook works, the uh, the taking photographs of it and sending it through to them, they were really supportive through like 
they understood that we at home we don't have like the workshops um you do hear some students that they did like um a negative like they did a photography they had like a photography like dark room in their own like flat wow. and like i found that crazy like i thought i thought me having a hands on like hands on like weed was like crazy like making like a dark room in your own like bathroom is like even more crazier so I think it kind of made us quite really creative, but also kind of made them mark in a completely different way that they've never thought to mark. And our lecturers are all like spread out. Like there's one lecturer that lives in like Glasgow, there's one in like Stirling, and then um, there's one living in Aberdeen and others living in Aberdeenshire. So they all live really far apart. Anyway, so um, I don't know if it will change um, the next year, hopefully it doesn't change too much because I feel like the school didn't really need to change that much. Um, but I feel like they have definitely supported us in the sense, because I was emailing like the lecturers, like, is this okay? I'm not, um, I'm not sure if like, I should like, I don't know if I'm overthinking this. <laughs> so like, they were really supportive. It's just, it was really difficult to not think that it's difficult to think that they were being supportive because they weren't physically there. If that makes sense? Like, because um, we were so isolated, we were overthinking and like, we don't have like other people to ask questions anymore. Like, we can't turn around to the next like person and be like, do you think I'm overthinking this idea? Or do you think I'm being absolutely like, like fine and not crazy at all? Because I think I'm insane right now. <laughs> but like, um, so it was very much like, the isolation kind of really hot, um, at least for me. And I feel like I'm like bouncing like against each wall. Yeah. Um, just thinking about like concepts and how am I going to change this? So it was, I felt bad that their emails had, had like, <laughs> had, they probably had so many emails from like, all of our students like panicking, like, what should I do? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. But you made it through though. So it's good. You managed yeah. to finish. And you graduated, so that's great. Uh, that is, if you could give one piece of advice to someone who is about to start at Grace, what would it be? Um, just keep, just keep making. Um, the first two years, it, they encourage you to just like make an experiment with mediums, and you'd be surprised at which medium you actually love. I mean, as I said, I came into like contemporary art with just paintings and look at me now like I've got sculptures and everything you'd be surprised of how you adapt out of that like mindset of just thinking in one way and then you you realize wait this I would never thought that I would be doing like ceramic pieces and wooden pieces um just ever like I was so stuck in like a 2 day form and doing paintings of like these these um isolated places that um that I would never have thought to think about outside the box, outside the canvas. So really don't discourage not trying something new, especially with like a place like Gray's where there is so much different like workshops or anything like that. I'm surprised that I really enjoyed actually using the laser cutter because um, I do do a lot of drawings. So I like, put it onto Illustrator and made it into like a thing to laser cut onto like um wooden paneling like I was surprised that I enjoyed that as well so like you'd be surprised of what you can achieve at a short period of time. Tell us more about the show that's happening at the moment. So the show was The Waste of Space um it was a piece that I did that was representing of like um how people's life is lived through objects and places and how it it basically shapes the identity of people and um it's thinking of um when you're clearing someone's space um after when they die um you're putting it in a like already in a casket and put, and let it delivered away to its final resting place and um yeah that's like what's the concept was um, I made sure that the space was very much um, 
it was a part of the piece as well because I tried to make it feel like it was at Grey's by using the tiles from Grey's School of Art. Like I had scans of tiles from Grey's and I scanned that, um, that image and made the flooring actually Grey's flooring. And then I also made sure that the um, textures of the walls were felt, felt actually 3D because personally to me, I felt like the um, physical space was quite um, flat looking. Um, so I tried my best to make it look like more realistic and more of an actual living space and not just a space that's not physically existing. Nice. Come to, come to the degree show, please. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> is there a specific time that you're on um, or is that gone already? I've been kind of on and off of the um, chat for like each day. I've been, I made sure I'm, I'm in at least the morning and at least the afternoon. So okay. like you can message the chat anytime. Nice. And could you just tell us um, the dates of the show? So like when it um, ends? It's until the 19th. But I don't know what time it, like, it stops at. Great. And if we want to see it, where is it? It is at Grey's Degree dot show. show. Dot show. I'm Amazing. pretty sure it is. Cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Congrats. Bye. Bye.